Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link of the description below. In one of our last videos, we saw how to control objects connected to an ESP8266 with our Android app made with App Inventor. In this video, we will see how to display data from the ESP8266 on our Android app over the internet. We will use for this time I think Speak IoT platform. I made already a program on my ESP8266 to send the data every one minute. After sending a data, I will blink the internal LED four times. To get the data from ThinkSpeak, I will need to send a HTTP request. You will find it on the uh, setting part. I will make a test with the browser to see how uh, the answer looks like. Don't forget to delete the get part. Here I'm sending a request to get the last two values from the first channel. And uh, this is a request for uh, just the last value. The challenge now is to extract the value from the whole answer with the App Inventor. We will do that step by step. This is the interface of App Inventor. I will add a button here to send the request to ThinkSpeak. Add the web component. Add a label where we will display the request. I will program the button to send the request and display the result in the first label. And this is the result. The answer is a JSON format and according to the documentation it is in a list. Now I want to verify how many items it contains. I will add a second label to display that. I am declaring a variable that will contain the request.
and this is the result. The list is composed of two items. Even if I change the number of results, the list contains always two items. Now I will declare a new variable and I will try to extract the second item containing my value. In App Inventor, arrays items are numbered from 1, so the second item is 2. I will show that in the third label. And this is my data. Now we will try to extract all of the last part starting from the text field 1. And I will display that on the fourth label. And this is the result. Now I will try to extract by the same technique the value of uh, the field. I 
I'm adding the fifth label. The idea here is to extract the substring from the position number 8 to the first position of the parentheses. And this is my value. Now I will make a program to send every one second the HTTP request. It will be done by calling the timer component. I reloaded everything and I'm waiting for the sending of the request. And this is the result after one minute. Now you can organize your user interface and start working with your data. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.